Welcome to the Notion Meal Planner Template. Whether you're struggling with your meal planning, want to keep track of your favorite recipes, or you're trying to stay organized with your grocery shopping, or simply ensure you're eating healthy throughout the week, this Notion Meal Planner has you covered. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the features, show you how to customize it to fit your lifestyle, and help you simplify your meal planning. Let's dive in and get started. First, we start with the weekly planner, which we will populate shortly. Then, you will find your recipe book. You can see it either by gallery view, by meal type, healthy recipes, favorites, and mobile view. And then, you will find the grocery list, which is automatically generated from the recipes that you choose for the week. And as well, any recurring or additional items that you would like to add. To add a new recipe, you click on New Recipe and fill out all the properties. Then you need to add every single ingredient that goes into the recipe so that it is included in the grocery list. If an ingredient doesn't exist, like in this case, you just need to write it out and click on Plus New. Now you have all the ingredients that go into the recipe. If the recipe comes from the web, you can include the link here and if not, you can leave it empty. Then add tags for the recipe so that later on you can filter by tag when you want something healthy, high protein, gluten free, etc. Choose the difficulty level and check this box if it's one of your favorite recipes. Then choose what the meal type and the preparation time. Then you can choose to write out the exact recipe or leave it empty if it is from the web. To add a new picture, you click on change cover and you can either upload one of your own or you can use Unsplash. Now when we come to the recipe database, we can find the recipe that we just created over here. Now to create your weekly menu, you come to the setup view and you need to choose an item for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for every day of the week. You can look at your recipes by meal type to easily choose what you would like to have. When you switch views, you will see that the days have been populated with their menus. Now let me fill out the rest of the table so that you can see how it looks like in general. Now that we have the plan of our entire week, we can see that all the ingredients have been automatically added to the groceries list. Next, you need to check off what you already have in your pantry so that you can eliminate it from the list. For example, if you already have almond milk, then you just check it off and it will be removed from the list. Then at the supermarket, Check off the items that you put in your cart until the list becomes empty. Next, let's move on to recurring items. This is something that you can set up in the beginning of your meal planning journey by clicking on the setup page and coming to this table and adding all the items you purchase on a regular basis. So let's say for example you always buy milk and protein bars and so on. When you come back to the dashboard, you will see that they will always be in this table. As well, if during the week you think about a new item that you would like to add as a one-time purchase, click on the Add New button and write it out. And it will be added to the Additional Items table. At the beginning of a new week, click on Reset Week button and everything will be removed. As you can see, even the orange juice has been removed 
since it was just an additional item for the week, but all the recurring items remain. Now moving on to the recipe book, we can view all of our recipes either by gallery view, favorites, must try, which are all the recipes that we haven't tried yet, by tag, preparation time, and by difficulty. We can also come back to the gallery view and filter for two things at the same time. So for example, we can filter for healthy and for preparation time of 20 minutes to get exactly what we're looking for for that day. We can also click on one of the recipe pages and export it to PDF and print by clicking on the three buttons. Then export, select PDF, and my recommendation is to scale it down to 70%. Click on save. And you can then print the PDF. Let's go back to the recipe book. We can also get recipes directly from the web by using an extension called Notion Web Clipper, which allows you to pull in content from the web and automatically store it in a chosen database in Notion. So let's say for example we want to look for a healthy cornbread recipe. All you need to do is to click on the Notion Web Clipper and choose the correct database, which is the recipe book in this case. And you click on Save to Page. Then we go back to the Notion account, and the recipe will be found in the recipe book. You can click on it and see everything that has been added. If you don't have any time to fill it out, you can maybe just shorten the title. And since the recipe is one that you haven't cooked before, then you can leave this empty and it will be found in the Must Try tab. Once you have time, you can open the page and fill out all the properties. You can also take a screenshot of the image and add it to the cover image. So that's it for the meal planner. I hope this easy to use template will help you make your meal planning smoother and more enjoyable.